All the Walters have left is now wet and muddy. Clothes, computers, keepsakes, all soiled, but they escaped with their lives. Going in there and seeing everything, I'm thankful that we made it out. Because it's a disaster. When nearby Rock Creek overflowed early Wednesday morning, water rushed into their basement apartment, tossing all their belongings. The fridge, no match for its force. The family managed to get inside for a few minutes to snap these pictures where you can see the nearly six foot tall water line on the walls. My niece had her head tilted because just, you know, trying to breathe. Melissa Walter says the family clung to their beds, praying until rescue crews arrived. My mom told my niece, pray, pray, you know, pray to your angel. La familia está destrozada. Sadly, 19 year old Melkin Cedillo lost his life. Family members say the teenager died a hero, returning to floodwaters to rescue his mother. County leaders tell WSA 9 50 people stayed overnight at the Mid County Community Rec Center in Silver Spring. Food and diapers are being delivered there through nonprofits. The shelter will remain open until long term plans are made. So, as the Walters try to pick up the pieces from one of the worst days of their lives, they're thankful to be walking away, even though returning to a routine is painful. My niece is at school. Yeah. You worried about her at school? Yeah, I cried. I didn't want her to go on the bus. Why? <laughs> Something could happen to her. I don't want to be there with her. County leaders say they're here to support these residents for the long haul, not only to put roofs over their heads and clothes on their backs, but to give them the emotional support that they will no doubt need. The Department of Health and Human Services working with a nonprofit locally to try to coordinate monetary and clothing donations. We'll have that information for you to help on our website, WSA9.com. In Rockville, I'm Delia Gonsalves.